Best places to visit in Cambodia. Welcome to my channel. So before we get started with our video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and if you are new here subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you never miss any updates. Best known as both the home of the colossal temples of Angkor Wat and for the brutal Khmer Rouge era of the 1970s and later Civil War, Cambodian history encompasses both some of humanity's greatest artistic accomplishments and most horrific deeds. The history is what draws most travelers here, but this Southeast Asian nation has more tourist attractions to offer for those who linger longer than a short temple hop to Siem Reap. Beyond the temples, Cambodia is a prime destination for Southeast Asia travelers that manages to charm all who come. The coastline of sandy white beaches tempts every sunsloth. The jungle-swathed countryside is geared up for the more intrepid, and the buzzing capital of Phnom Penh envelops visitors in the frenetic pulse of contemporary Cambodian city life. So here are the best places to visit in Cambodia. Number 5. Ratanakiri. Ratanakiri is a nature-filled reprieve for travelers suffering from temple fatigue. This is outback Cambodia, and the endless red dirt roads of the region, leading to ethnic minority villages, are an intrepid traveler's delight. For those with an adventurous streak, the province is one of the best places in Cambodia for trekking, from spotting gibbons at Vien Sai Siem Pang Conservation Area. Where overnight trips involve sleeping in hammocks and early rises to track buff-cheek gibbons, to hiking in Virachi National Park home to elephants, tigers, and sun bears. There are more relaxing options on offer as well. The emerald water of Yik Lam Crater Lake just outside of Ban Lung Town is a tranquil swimming spot. While the waterfalls of Cha Ong and Ka Tiang are fun diversions that provide more opportunities for getting wet. Number 4. Siem Reap. Siem Reap is usually seen by travelers as among Cambodia's top places to visit due to it being the base for Angkor Archaeological Park, but the town itself offers more things to do beyond the mighty temples. This is the country's major activity center, with bundles of tours on offer, from cycle trips around the lush countryside just outside of town to Cambodian cookery tours. Shoppers will also find plenty to keep them occupied, as Central Siem Reap is brimming with opportunities to browse traditional crafts. Make sure to visit Angkor National Museum, before heading to Angkor Wat itself, to dose up on the history of the site. The exhibits here explore the breadth of culture and artistry of the Khmer Empire. For evening entertainment while in town, don't miss fair the Cambodian circus. This internationally renowned circus troupe and social enterprise put on dazzling shows where performers combine theater, acrobatics, and music. Number 3. Ko Rong Samlom. Just off Cambodia's south coast lie a scattering of islands just as beautiful as their Thai counterparts to the west, but much less visited. Compared to the now very developed islands of Koh Samui and Phuket, Cambodia's islands are a slice of laid-back tropical bliss, where sun and sand take center stage, and the big resorts have yet to make their mark. Of all the islands, Koh Rong Samlom is one of the most beautiful, with the long, sandy Saracen Bay home to a dozen beach hut resorts that offer a welcome respite from the world. It's all about hammock time here, but there are plenty of scuba diving activities on offer for the more active. You can access these islands from Sahanakville. Number 2. Phnom Penh. Cambodia's capital is the frenetic heartbeat of the nation, a city of chaotic streets abuzz with motorbikes and car horns that can frazzle at first glance. Deserted completely during the Khmer Rouge madness and left to wither and decay, Phnom Penh has bounced back to become one of Southeast Asia's most dynamic cities. For visitors, this is Cambodia's most cosmopolitan destination, with a cafe and restaurant scene unrivaled in the rest of the country. It's also home to a scattering of important historic sites that help unravel both Cambodia's modern and ancient history. The National Museum is home to a swag of Khmer sculptures that traces the nation's history from the pre-Angkorian age right through to the phenomenal majesty of the god kings of Angkor. The Royal Palace provides gorgeous examples of traditional artistry, while the Tuol Slang Museum and the Killing Fields of Chung Ek speak of the horror and brutality the people of this country suffered under Khmer Rouge rule. Number 1. Angkor Wat, Angkor Archaeological Park. This temple city is the number one tourist spot in Cambodia. Accessed from the town of Siem Reap, the temples of the Angkorian period are so ambitious in scale and the majesty of their construction, that Angkor Wat is rated as one of the world's must-see ancient sites. Built between 802 and 1432, this was the largest city in the world during the medieval age and the vast powerhouse of the Khmer kings who endeavored to outbid their predecessors in the beauty of their construction. As the city's wooden dwellings were encroached on and then decayed by the surrounding jungle, what remains today, are just those mighty temples. The Temple of Angkor Wat itself, 
the world's largest religious building, is only one sliver of the site in total, and the sprawling circuit of temples deserves three days to explore if you want to understand the scope of the Angkorian period's architectural achievements. For those short on time though, the main highlights after Angkor Wat are the tree root clasped temple of Ta Prome, the Bayan temple for its 216 stone carved faces, Angkor Tom and Preya Khan. Let us know what you think about the list in the comment section below. If you enjoy this video, please like the video and also subscribe to our channel. Thank you.